What is QT? To me, QT is probably the most beautiful piece of software I have ever seen. When we uh, built QT up through the years, we wanted people like us, the programmers, to look at this and see, okay, this is something I like. This is intuitive, this is done right, this is, this is the way it was always meant to be. And uh, I think we achieved that pretty, uh, pretty well. Qt is the only multi-platform C++ application framework that lets you write one source tree that will run natively on Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS X, and embedded systems. When you want your code to run as a native application on another platform, all you have to do is recompile. Try doing that with MFC, or with Java. In fact, try to do that with any other framework, and you find yourself wondering, what happened to the creativity in this job? I mean, there's more to developing software than just hard labor, isn't there? Developing software for me is art, because I want to be, I want to be it perfect. I want it to be perfect, and I want it to be not only fulfilling the task is what it was supposed to fulfill, but really to do it the right way. And there are not so many right ways if you are writing software. There are a limited number of right ways. One of the beautiful features of QT is the ability to concentrate on the important issues of the application code and do away with all the horrible low-level stuff. The most important thing we have achieved with the Qt is exactly this, that you the components that you need are there. They're so intuitive to use that you use very little time figuring out how to use the tool. It can actually get your work done. You can do the creative part and, and think about the application you're going to make instead of how to do the toolkit. If you're a painter, you don't want to find out how to use the brush or, or how to get the color out of the tube. You want to paint. You want to be creative. And, and, and that makes programming more fun. With QT, sort of rediscovered the town of uh, programming because everything was laid out in a simple and uh, sensible way. Because I've programmed for a long time, um, you, you experience a lot of bad junk, a lot of things that you use them because that's all there is and you're never satisfied, never happy with it, you always complain about what's wrong with it. Um, but QT was the first thing I'd ever used, really, where I just went, this is perfect. It's, I once said, this is the way that things were meant to be. Qt is not just, just a toolkit. It's, an, it's a programming universe. It's Basically, it's everything you need for an application. I mean, starting from file access, networking, graphical controls, everything's there. Yeah, on, on your command, and it all fits together in style. But you don't need to learn this, this low-level POSIX API here or this, this other networking classes. It's all there, it's all object orientated, it's all in C++, it's all at your hand. One of QT's major advantages is that once you learn it on one platform, you've learned it on all platforms. If you don't use Qt and want to have a version for Windows, a version for Linux, a version for Mac, you basically develop the application three times. So let's say you have a medium-sized application of 100,000 lines of code, then you write 300,000 lines of code, which do three times the same, but are different API calls and so on. Qt has been written by Trolltech to give you multi-platform capability, an intuitive API, and a comprehensive set of functionalities. But those aren't the only reasons to use it. Qt also lets you write less code to do the same amount of work so you can more easily support and maintain that smaller code base. Here's a standard ticker widget, a window with revolving text. To build it using Motif, you need this much code, 224 lines. To build it in MFC, you need to write slightly less, 164 lines. But look at QT. You need only 61 lines of code. This is an obvious advantage in simple productivity but it yields even larger benefits downstream. Every line you write has to be has to be maintained and is probably touched many, many times in its in its life cycle uh, until it's finally been changed or replaced by something else. So just just duplicating the source tree for a project, I mean 
it, it may work for some companies in, in a very short run, but eventually it will, it, it will simply kill you. In addition to reducing maintenance, QT3 lets you extend your applications in three very useful ways. You can write multi-platform applications with database capability. It opens up um, a whole possibility of building cross-platform database applications, which doesn't really exist in any other toolkit. You can create GUIs quickly with Trolltech's QT Designer, a full-fledged rapid application development tool. You can easily localize your application for places that speak every language from Hebrew to Japanese to Korean to Norwegian to Klingon. And you can scale those applications to run on anything from the world's fastest computer at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratories to small, resource-constrained smartphones. The result is a tool that has been used to write software that helps create major motion pictures, design automobiles, analyze brain function, interpret seismic data, design silicon, manage air traffic systems, keep you from falling asleep at the wheel, and plan voyages to other planets. Not bad for a toolkit that started out as the love child of two Norwegian programmers who met each other in the never-ending search for student housing. When I first came there, the other guys were, were showing me around, introducing me to, to the place, and I asked, where's the last guy? I said, well, he, he's into computers. So we went into Hovar's room, and the first time I, I saw him, he was sitting like this in front of his computer. And <laughs> I took one short look in the, at the screen, and I said, hey, I see you have Turbo Pascal 4.0 also. And he just looked at me and, wow, how did he see that? And we were instant friends. <laughs> sort of love at first sight, <laughs> you know, <laughs> among geeks. <laughs> Hovad Nord and Eirik Eng are the founders of Trolltech. In 1991, they were building a medical software system that needed to show advanced functionality on Unix and the Macintosh. They looked around for tools that would help them create such software, but they didn't like what they saw. I think there were tools in the market, but we thought they were pretty bad. Nord and Eng thought that they could do better. So after a lot of thought and soul searching, they secured spousal financing and made a decision. After that, I called Eric and, you know, he had been helping me in, in this project and I said, let's, let's start a company. This is when Hovard called me up and, and said, I mean, they, they're not appreciating how good you are. Uh, you're never going to get anywhere in, inside this company. Come with me and, and, uh, and let's start fresh. Let's do this from the bottom up and do it the right way. These are the number one developers from their universities, from their regions. We brought them together. We figured out that if we give them enough freedom, they will use their joy and passion in programming and create the best software there is, and they do. QT was the first thing I ever used, really, where I just went, this is perfect. This is the way that things are meant to be. It's this unbelievable cloud library. You don't have to bear in mind lots of little caveats, it just works. It's not just, just a toolkit, it's a programming universe. People like us, the programmers, look at this and see, okay, this is something I like. And that's so gratifying to get that sort of feedback from customers saying, wow, you guys make it possible for me to only do the fun part. The idea behind Qt is to be as object-oriented, as generic as possible, to make the components we develop there as reusable as possible and as open for special needs as possible. Yeah, it's something you can fall in love with if you are a developer. I mean, in a platonic way. <laughs> 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 <laughs>